Okay, just another look. Um, again, it's thrown together at the Cabernazza um, device. I was looking at the, the effect of the earthing on his system. And uh, from his drawings, it looked like he split L1. Um, but I'm now thinking that it split the L2. And this is what I'm going to show you. Um, 16 volt DC ZVS driver L1. Inside the tube, I have a thinly coiled wire. One end going out this end. And the other end should normally go out this end, as in previous videos. But what I've done, I've pulled it back through the tube inside of itself. And one end is with a fluorescent tube. The other end, um, I will put on it afterwards. But we have it earthed. Now that coupled with the earth makes a, a significant difference in the output. On top of that, I have a bifiler coil. Um... Again, this is the beginning phase, and this is a bulb from a microwave oven uh, transformer uh, circuit. Um, so I presume it's AC, but I'll try and do this and show you the result with one hand. Okay, so basically, this is what we've got. There's the uh, bulb from the microwave oven transformer. I've got the earth connected to the other side, which is going through the tube. Okay, you can see the fluorescent light there, and that's fully lit. That's more than that's more than the value of the bulb. So, and this is this was actually teetering because again. Nothing's connected, it's just uh, put together. So the interesting thing, what I wanted you to look at was that this cable, this white cable, which is connected to the first winding underneath this bifiler winding, is what was interesting. Um, and that I think that's something to play with because there's a lot of power in the center here when you're making your Tesla coils, um, there's something that we missed that is in this, this center uh, part of the coil that we could be utilizing. And I think that's what gives it the extra uh, output. But um, stay posted, comment if you want. I just thought that was interesting.